Hi everyone, my name is Kevin Ansel. I'm an application engineer here with 3M. Today we're kicking off our paint prep series. So the first step in the process, we are going to feather out the area so that we are ready to apply our masking so that we can apply our primer so we don't have any repair mapping or anything showing uh, so that we can have a nice continuous edge when we apply our paint. Before we get started, let's go over a few things. First, make sure you're wearing your proper PPE at all times. You'll see today I'm wearing safety glasses, cut resistant gloves, uh, hearing protection, and then a couple different respirators throughout the application. When I'm using any sanding, I'll be wearing an N95 particulate respirator. And then whenever I'm using any solvent cleaners, I'll have a half face organic vapor cartridge respirator that will protect me whenever I'm using these products. Make sure you're using VOC compliant products depending on your local regulations. Second, this video is intended for a professional audience, like a body shop or a paint shop. If you want to learn more, I put the link to our safety and warranty information in the link below. Now let's get started. First thing we're going to do is remove any of those inline scratches that we have on a repair area by using a 180 grit abrasive disc, using a DA, and an interface pad. We want to make sure that we completely remove any of those inline scratches so that we don't have any indication that a repair was made after we apply our primer. After we're done removing our inline scratches with our 180 grit, we'll switch to a 320 grit, also using a DA and an interface pad, uh, feather out the rest of that repair area so that we have a nice smooth transition, and then we can move on to our primer. You can use either a net abrasive or a paperback abrasive. Today, I'm going to be using the 3M Cubitron 2 net abrasive with a total automotive sanding system, a DA sander, and an interface pad. When we're sanding with our 320 grit, we want to make sure that we expand the repair area and make sure that any area that will come in contact with primer is properly scuffed so the primer has something to anchor to. When you're done sanding, make sure to clean the area. We recommend using a Scotch-Brite clean and finish pad to remove any dust that might be lingering on the surface and then make sure you clean the area with a wax and grease remover that's recommended by the paint manufacturer. Uh, make sure you follow VOC regulations um, that are specific to your local region, and then make sure that you wipe the area using a dust-free paper towel or a microfiber cloth. All right, so there we have it. We have a repair area properly feathered out. We're ready to apply our masking and then move on to our primer steps. Thank you for watching this video. If you found this video helpful, make sure you hit the thumbs up button below and feel free to comment in the comment section. Uh, and be sure to subscribe so you can see more information and more videos that are available from 3M Collision Repair. For more videos and for more information, make sure you check out the 3M Collision Repair Academy. See you next time.